Hey guys, Tim here, aka Event 21 bring you week 8 of the regular season of the CDL, the final week of regular season, and after this we will know if we are going to make playoffs or not. Um, this week we take on Eli, coach of the Kung Fu Pangoros. Um, yeah, let's just have a look at the table, at least for me. Um, we are currently in 7th, because we fall down after 2 lo losses, kinda hard, and he, um, with he I mean Eli, basically needs to win to, has, to have a chance at playoffs. Um, looking at the current standings, I am not sure of playoffs yet. If I win, I will go up to either third or fourth place. If I win with a higher differential than one, I will go up to third for sure. And if I win five or six, oh, I have a chance to uh, finish in fifth position. Um, but that's also depending on, or second and not fifth. Um, the Tri State Porygons are currently second with a 5 and 2 record. We are 4 and 3. He has a differential of 6, I have a differential of 1. If he loses and I win um, with enough points to make up for the differential of 5 points, I can even climb back to second. Um, and like I said, Eli needs to win. He is currently 10th with a 3 and 4 record. And yeah, he basically needs to win to have to even have a shot. And even if he wins, he is not sure of making playoffs because Will has to lose. Um, so yeah, that's uh, the thing basically. Let's have a look at Will's team or Eli's team, shall we? Um, Eli has a pretty scary team, like most others in this league, I have to say, because most teams look pretty uh, scary for uh, to me. Um, first of all, he has Talonflame, and people who don't know Gen 6 will say, um, Well, it's a Talonflame, and people who do know uh, Gen 6 will think, Oh, damn, it's Talonflame. <laughs> um, for the people who don't know, Talonflame has Gill Wings, and in uh, after Gen Seven or Six, Gill Wings was nerfed because Gill Wings in Gen Six uh, makes you always have plus one priority on flying type moves, no matter how much HP the user has. So basically, he can always click a flying type move and move before me, no matter how fast or slow he is, which is always nice. Uh, Latios is a very threatening um, dragon type. Um, in Gen 5 he was maybe one of the best dragon types in the game. Um, and in Gen 6 that's not uh, all that different. Um, with the Soldu he has a 20 or 50% boost to his dragon and psychic type moves. Not sure what uh, which one it is in this gen. Um, he has a Zoomeril a fairy and water type that is also pretty threatening because uh, of uh, set up belly drums. Uh, Hoopa Unbound, um, I believe this is kill leader, not sure. Can I see that by any chance in the kill on the kill leader board? I don't think so because I don't see any of his mons, I believe. No, not uh, none of his mons are in the top 20, but I do believe Hoopa is his kill leader. Um, can either be physical or special with high physical and special attack. Um, high special defense, his uh, physical defense is a bit lackluster, just like his speed at base 80 or 85. So, um, yeah, still can be very annoying to deal with. Uh, basically, um, Scum Tank, a Poison Dark type, one of the great best combinations in the game, because they only have, he only has a Dark type weakness or a Grind type weakness. Uh, can be a Defogger, can be a Special, can be a Physical set. Um, kind of an enigma, but 
Yeah, basically on the lower level because his uh, attacking stats are a bit lower than Hoopa's. Uh, Fortress is a defensive, uh, physical defensive wall that can set up hazards, can spin away hazards. Uh, Gyro Ball can hit hard against uh, fast opponents. Um, so yeah, basically a special uh, physical wall. Rotom Mo. Um, yeah, it's a Rotom form. High defenses and special attack, low HP and physical attack and decent speed. Can be either Scarf or Specs with Leaf Storm. Um, Mega Blastoise, always annoying with Mega Launcher. High defenses, um, yeah, just a bulky offensive mon made only on his special side. Metagross can be a, a mixed attacker, has high attack and decent special attack and a great move pool to use. Um, Chinchino can either be a Scarfed or Bandit skill link with Bullet Seed, Tilt Slap, Rock Blast and just hit hard and be annoying. Diggersby with huge power is yeah, always a threat. Give it Choice Band and he can hit quick attacks with Stab. So yeah, hits hard and last but not least is Lucario. Um, not um, the greatest mom I believe in this generation but still something um, can also be a special or a physical attacker so have to keep that in mind. Let's have a look at what team I bring to uh, basically hopefully beat Eli. First of all we bring the root, the Tyranitar. Um, as I said a rock setter and a breaker just like last week. Uh, max attack, uh, max HP, 96 in attack, 164 in special defense with a careful nature boosting his special defense even further and lowering his special attack. Crunch and Stone Edge as his uh, att attacking moves. Thunder Wave to spread paralysis and stealth works for my opponent. Um, basically this thing can take one fighting type move from everything because of the Choppleberry and I expect to, to see Hoopa unbound with either Drain Punch or Focus Blast. Um, I live one and Stone Edge should do enough to kill that thing straight up. Um, or I can Thunder Wave paraly paralyze it. So, uh, But Stone Edge should be enough to uh, take it out if he is. Not sure if it's max HP but... Um, I do have it noted in my prep doc for sure. Um, other fighting type moves he can take are from Lucario. Um, yeah, mainly Lucario. Uh, Metagross might have Hammer Arm or something. But yeah, that's to see basically. Next up is the Root Dancer, the Sand Slash, a Spinner and a Physical Breaker. Max attack, 230 speed and 20 in defense, adamant nature, earthquake, axe scissor, rock slide, rapid spin. Uh, earthquake and rock slide just hit everything decently to very hard. And axe scissor is for the uh, Hoopa Unbound specifically because it's Hoopa Unbound and I just want to be sure I can kill that thing. Um, Hoopa Unbound is, I feel, very threatening. So. Yeah, I would just want um, enough answers to uh, to it, and basically I had one with the Root Dancer, so always nice. Um, yeah, because of his physical bulk, I can take on physical Talon Flames. Um, uh, if he goes for Flamethrower, I will outspeed in Sand because of uh, Sand Rush. Um, Latios, I can access or as well. By the way, um, Scum Tank. Um, Metagross and Lucario don't like taking Earthquakes. Um, so yeah, I can basically hit everything, uh, if not most, for at least neutral damage. Um, Excess are also for the Rotomo, by the way. Um, so yeah, I need do need chip on things to uh, eventually sweep with this, but we'll see how the battle goes. Uh, Panzer Burp is going to be a overall wall again. 248 in HP, 40 attack, 220 special defense, and careful nature. Um, it says careful, but I should have changed it to adamant. 
Brave Bird, Whirlwind, Roost, Toxic with the Rocky Helmet. Um, this thing can take on Azumarill very decently with uh, Whirlwind. I can sweep, um, get out a, a Belly Drum set. Um, I can get rid of. Not sure if I really want to stay in on that, but uh, Swords Dance, Talon Flame. Basically any setup, uh, Double Dance, Metagross, I can take on and Whirlwind out. Um, Brave Bird is just a decent step option in general because only the Rotom, oh no, Rotom mode takes uh, neutral from it as well. Only the Metagross won't take super or won't take neutral damage. And Toxic is just nice to have in general to whittle things down. Next up is Raikou the Blitzkrieg. <coughs> As a special breaker, max speed, max special attack, timid nature, four in special defense with the choice packs, uh, volt switch, signal beam, hyper beam, and thunderbolt. Um, volt switch for momentum. He only has the diggers B as a spare, as a ground type, and that thing is not a reliable switch in with the choice packs because hyper beam will basically as uh, wipe that thing off the face of the earth. Um, Volt Switch is great to pivot around, Thunderbolt if I want to uh, ensure a kill, Signal Beam again for the Hoopa Unbound, but also for things like the Rotomo, um, and for the Latios, and Hyper Beam as just a cool move to click. I mean, let's hope I will be able to click it, but we'll have to see. Uh, next up is going to be Rhaegal, the Mega Charizard X. As a setup sweeper this week, uh, max attack 176 Jolly Nature uh, with speed and 80 in defense. Um, yeah, again, this thing can pretty much sweep, barring the Azumarill and the Mega Blastoise. Everything else will just drop to Flare Blitz and Dra uh, Dragon Claw, especially once I have set up two. Dragon Dances, but one will already be very hard to deal with for my opponent. Um, Roost for uh, keeping myself healthy because uh, Flare Blitz. Um, and yeah, Dragon Dance for setup, basically. Um, I believe Lost is Big Sus the Among Us as a special wall, max HP, 208 special defense, and 48 in attack with the Calm Nature. Um, Regenerator as the ability, of course, Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain, Hidden Power, Fire, and Clear Smog as his moves. Um, Sludge Bomb and Giga Drain are just uh, great coverage moves. Hidden Power, Fire are for things like the Fortress and the Rotomo. Um, but Rotomo can be hit with Sludge Bomb, thus, so not really that important. Um, um, more for the Lucario, by the way. I can wall the Azumarill with this set pretty well because uh, I resist both of its steps. Um, I can clear smoke away a belly drum if I need uh, that to happen. Uh, I can take on the Rotom Mo very comfortably. Fortress I can take on. Um, Mega Blastoise I can take on decently with Giga Drain. Um, again, Metagross is kind of a problem, but I do have the hidden power, but psychic type moves just hurt. So yeah, um, <coughs> just a great uh, defensive option for this week. So this is the team for week six, <coughs> sorry, week eight. I will connect with Eli and yeah, we'll get on with the battle. Okay, so we are here with Eli. Um, just to let you guys know, I switched Panzerburp up from 220 in Spadef into 220 in Fizdev. Uh, mainly because I needed a decent answer, answer for Azumarill Body uh, or Belly Drum, which I didn't really have. So, uh, yeah, this is probably my best bet. Um, let's have the dog for me ready I expected Talonflame, Hoopa Unbound, Latios, Mega Blastos, Metagross, Rotomo. let's see what he brings um, party Pokemon um, please enter those Pokemon you wish to enter 
I see Diggersby. Okay. The Mega Blastoise. I see Latios. I see Talon. Flame. Rotom. Mo. And uh, Su. Marrow. Um. Only th no Hoopa Unbound. Ooh, that's a big dagger. Um, and no Metagross, Diggersby, and what else? Teleflame Latios, Mega Blast Toys. No Metagross, and that's the Diggersby. Okay. Um, what do I want to start off with? Um. I think the Rude would be a decent answer, or otherwise Blitzkrieg. I think Blitzkrieg might be the easiest to start off with. Um, so I click confirm, good, good luck and have fun to my opponent. Uh, I'm going to type some things out for myself here, so I can keep the scores. Um, right, go. I have a uh, moon. Gus, Rotomo. Uh, I can scout for Scarfed. Let's see, Raikou against Mo. Um, if he specs, I outspeed and can switch out. If he is scarfed, Leaf Storm does do over half. Um, is this something I want to do? Not immediately. Um, but on the other hand, it is good intel. So I'm um, keeping my list here so I can see what I have. I don't have sand slash here and I am missing Titar. Uh, I think the Volt Switch into Amungus is best. It's not scarfed. I do about 10%-ish. So this might be a more spadef variant. Uh, could be 15, I don't have so a measuring tool. Um, but Amungus should be able to tank any one hit he has. Reflect, ooh, okay. Reflect. What is his number one switch into this? I guess the Latios or the Talonflame. Uh, Hidden Power Fire is basically a move I have no use for. Um, probably Light Clay. Um, a Sludge Bomb versus Max Pedef does about half. Let's click it. I don't see why not. He does not have a okay thought switch. He does not. He does have the diggers be resist. I did not <laughs> pay attention to how, to how much damage it did, but no. Azu, nice. This hurts that thing. Pretty. Ooh, sorry for the poison, dude. Um, uh, Azumaru, let's say Belly Drum, yeah this is probably max H, no this is definitely not H max HP, I did scout something like lefties I believe, I am not paying attention at all, uh, 9 uh, points of damage from the Mo, um, Scarfed, So this is definitely 
Oh wait, this is with the <laughs> Black Sludge recovery. Um, Black Sludge is a sixteenth of my health. Oh, I gotta do math quick. Uh, divided by sixteen is twenty points. Twenty-seven points. I still have nine points of damage left, so thirty-six points of damage. Yeah, this is uninvested. Um, so defensive against Azu, I did not do a lot of damage. I'm not sure what Azu can do to me. Um, gotta be a bit faster here. Uh, this might be Max but death. Um, maybe he expected Giga Drain. I'm clicking Sludge Bomb again and see what he wants to go for. Whirlpool. So this is Trapping Set. Whirlpool. Not sure why, but... I did see Lefty's proc. Okay. Lefty's... But... What is he going to do now? I mean... If poison doesn't take him out, which it doesn't... It does do a ch decent amount of chip, but... I mean... I'm not sure what he wants to go for here, so... Ice Punch? Ice... Punch does Perish Sun, okay. But you basically sacked the Azu for where for that. Um, so Azu going 0 and 1. I mean I was kinda scared of that thing, but um, yeah, I can basically switch Big Sus out of here. And I was not I am not keeping count of the reflectors by the way. Um it's a bit of a dagger, but... Uh, by the way, if I win this game with a differential of two points... Ladios, Ladios, Ladios... Best answer for the Ladios is the Titar. Um, yeah, and I want to switch out because Paris Song, of course, so... He is doubling out, okay, into his... Mo. Um, definitely not scarfed and definitely defensive. Maybe to set up light screen. Um, Titar in reflect with, re with reflect up. Oh, wrong side, reflect up. Uh, I'm not doing anything, but I can set up rocks. Um, and of course, scout a bit for damage. Leafstorm should be a three hit. If he is max attack, special attack, it does have a decent chance for a two shot, but he definitely can't Oko me, so I'm setting up rocks now. Helps to chip him down. Um, Him not bringing his uh, Hoopa was kind of unexpected to be sure, for sure. So, one, two, three, four, five. Left Diggers B comes in. Stealth rocks go up. And I will switch out immediately into Skarmory because Skarmory is my best bet. Um, I do see damage on Tyranitar, by the way, so I can recheck my uh, calculations. 403 times 100. It did about 11% of damage into Tyranitar with the Rotomo in the sand. So, yeah, probably uninvested damage again. Um, I don't see a reason to not go into Panzerburp. Um, Skarm. Into Diggers. 
B. Let's say Scarfer. Um, let's say it gets uh, something like Thunder Punch. It's a guaranteed 3 0 against this set. So I see no reason not to go into Panzerburp here. And I can freely click Toxic. He sets up a Swords Dance, goes to plus 2. That does kinda scare me. But I do have the Whirlwind for that, so... Um, I'm going to click that. Um, yep, as the... Big damage. He does get Rocky Helmet. Damage and I whirlwind that thing out of here into the Mega Blastoise. Um, that also takes sense damage. Nice. Reflect pours off. I am going to click... Am I going to click Roost or am I going to click... Toxic. Hmm. Ballastoise has a free rapid spin on me. Do I have a use for this? Um, SDT punch. Um, Among Us gets O code. I did not see score, by the way. Did not see any item. Um, Among Us doesn't like taking it on. Megazord X doesn't like taking it on. Reflect is gone, by the way. Um, so yeah, keeping this healthy is probably my best bet, but... Uh, if he goes for damage with this thing, it's also kind of bad for me. Last toys. Um, rapid spin doesn't do anything though, so. 40, 18%, so I'm going up to 68. 68%. Small chance he can open with scope after that if he smacks. Uh, um, Roosting. He is reacting with the Mega Blastoise Knight. The chip on the Blastoise, by the way, is great for me. He is going for the Rapid Spin, so that's a bit of damage to him. Takes some damage from Rookie Helmet. So I don't know what his move will be but I think Raikou is going to be able to live one and Thunderbolt is going to probably Oko this I'm getting a bit of nervous when this screen takes a bit of time to load uh, but I do think Raikou is my is it my best bet? Uh, I only know Rapid Spin so far from this Blastoise so I could go into my Among Us, but if he clicks Ice Beam, that thing, being the Among Us, doesn't take all that much. Uh, I am at full now, so Ice Beam is a 3 hit KO. Oh, well. I do expect something like Scald coming out. Or surf for 32 going for the ice beam down to 264 uh, divided by 432 times a hundred uh, hundred minus 61 is 39 percent with the ice beam Hmm, not even modest. Okay. Um, 
what's going to be my best move. Um, I can go for Giga Drain pretty freely here, I believe. So, um, but if he goes into his Ladios, what will be my best answer then? Um, Titor. Um, so yeah, I'm going to click Giga Drain, expecting, I think, yeah, he's going to switch out into his Rotomo. I'm not gonna take much from that, but I mean, damage is, damage, damage is damage. And speaking is hard, 337. So I am pretty healthy with, oh, 337, 78%. Uh, yeah, I'm clicking Sludge Bomb, expecting something like Reflect or life sc Light Screen. Um, I haven't seen much more. Seen two moves on the Digger BCB with Swords Dance and Thunder Punch. He sets up a Reflect. I am going to do a decent amount of damage with the Mungus. Clicking Sludge Bomb. Like I said, a very... Ooh. That's the second poison today. Sorry, dude. 364 now. He barely lives. I'm at 84%. Um, again, there's nothing taking a sludge bomb right now. Uh, Diggersby, by the way. Uh, I'm clicking Giga Drain. If he switches into... What's more freely? I mean... The poison on Diggersby will be very nice. Um, hmm. Sludge Bomb doesn't let Diggersby. Uh, if I go for Giga Drain to the Diggersby, that will be a bit better. But if he switches into Latios. Or Talon Flame, that won't be doing much. So, uh, Giga Drain. <laughs> he sets up a light screen as well. That's annoying. I'm clicking Giga Drain. And I'll be taking out that Rotom Mo. I got the feeling his Mo was holding the. Uh, Light clay, so um, Diggersby comes in. Diggersby, physical attacker. EQ may, may already take me out. I can. Hmm. What do I need Amoongus for? Mega Blastoise? In defensive option is a defensive option, but not much more than that. Um, let's see, Amoongus. Uh, not a Talon Flame. Nothing for Ladi. Mega Blastoise, but that's about it. And for Mega Blastoise, I do have a Raikou that can Oko this that, so I can go for Clear Smog. Expecting the Swords Dance. Or I go for Giga Drain doing decent damage. And after that, Megazord can probably clean that bunny up. Diggers B. Um, Giga. I'm just going for damage. Swords dance as to be expected. I 
I'm doing decent damage. And I am going to click clear, clear smog now. And ooh, double swords dances. Nice. Because I'm going to clear smog that away. And no more stat boost for you. And with this, I am um, taking away his reflect and light screen turns, which is great for me. He swords dances again. I'm giga draining again. And he has to attack now. Hmm. Scrummery. Plus two. I know Swords Dance, I know Thunder Punch. If he has both Return and Earthquake on that set, he can't fit Quick Attack. Um. I'm going into Panzer Burp, 222, 67, so I should be able to live a plus 2 return. Um, on the other hand, why wouldn't I just go for the attack with Big Sus, because yeah, the EQ is here. Switch into Skarm would be would have been the best way to go about it, but Among Us going two and one. Um, into Megazord X. If he does have the quick attack, I do take a bit of damage. But even with Reflect Up, a um, Dragon Claw should be able to claim the kill here. So let's see if he does pack the quick attack. Even if he is jolly, by the way, I should be able to outspeed. There we go, Mega Bracelet comes off, Megazord emerges, he does not have the quick attack, Megazord picks up a kill. So we are three kills versus one now, which is great news for me. So we now have Mega Blastoise with Rapid Spin, we have a Ladio set which I don't know much about, and a Talent Flame set that I did not see yet. He brings out the Mega Blastoise. He still does have the uh, screens up. Mega Blastoise. He can't kill me if I go plus one. Plus one and reflect wearers of, I will have a chance to kill this. So, do I just go for plus one and hope I can KO this thing? If reflect wears off, or what's my defensive answer now? Tito, maybe? Tyranitar into a scold is guaranteed to hit, but I that thing assumes I took damage, which I believe I did not, or minimally 360. Okay, 360 is 89%. Scold has a small chance to hit KO me if he is max attack modest. 
I am not doing much, but I can set up Stealth Rocks again. I can Thunder Wave this, or whatever comes in. Um, seems like a mad thing to do, switching in a Tyranitar into a Mega Blastoise. Uh, but I feel like I have to, <laughs> basically. Sandstream comes off. Dragon Pulse. Great tech. How much will it do? 360 to 291. He takes a bit off. Yes, Reflect wears off. Okay. Titar was at 360. Minus 291. Is 69 points of damage. Uh, 69 points of damage divided by 403 is 17% with Dragon Pulse. Uh, gotta keep that in my dog. Dragon Pulse. Dragon Pulse. Oh, he's. I don't think he's modest. Um, let's say just docile. Not even max at special attack. Okay, damn. Um, reflect wars off. So Stone Edge will do a decent amount. Um, I think I'm going for the Thunder Wave because Water Pulse shouldn't be able to take me out at 72%. No, not in a long shot. 291 to 151. 291 minus 151 is 140 points of damage. Water pulse. 140 divided by my max amount 403. He did 34%, so. One, oh, 151, 37%. Um, with Talon Flame in the back, I am using Stealth Rocks because those are going to be very important to keep up. He rapid spins them away right away. Damn, get out of my head, man. Um, but he is taking Sandstorm damage, which is nice. And he is very low. With Diggers be gone, I can freely go into Raikou, I think, because Raikou won't be taking all that much damage. And I will be outspeeding, and with my um, choice specs, I will be doing a lot of damage. Oh, light screen's still up in my calc. Gotta keep my out on. I mean, light screen wasn't put up long after the reflect, so I think reflect and light screen should be wor uh, worn off right now. So, um, let's have a thought. Um, he's probably going to click either rapid spin. Or water pulse again. Rapid spin, fair enough. Hmm. I could click hyper beam for the lols. I mean, that's something I could do. If he switches into his Latios, that would take a lot of damage. If he switches in Talon flame that would take also a lot of damage um, but volt switch is very free to click so I am clicking volt switch if he switches out I get the momentum into tank Dell which is the Latios what's going to be my best Ladi answer Um, let's 
let's say Latios does have some damage. Latios, let's say specs. Axisor might have a chance to KO this. Let's do that. Let's click Axisor. And watch sand subside. <laughs> oh, you can't write this stuff, man. You just can't write it. Uh, if I switch into Skarm now. 222. 67. Um, if I switch into T-Tower, 145, 36, so definite Oko, but I do get my sound back up, I can go back into this thing, oh, okay, back into the Mega Blast toys he goes. While I set up my sand again. He takes some sand damage again. And... I don't see a reason not to click Stone Edge right now. Um... Stone Edge into Ladi will do a big amount, but maybe not KO it. If he switches into Talonflame it dies. Mega Blastoise will be slower, because it's paralyzed. Blastoise all out offensive. He is paralyzed, so if he is max speed, timid. I still have speed, and I do have a decent chance to kill it with the Stone Edge, so I'm clicking Stone Edge, and I miss, and he takes me out with the Water Pulse, lovely. So no more sand for me, Tita going 0 and 1, Mega Blastoise taking a kill. Um, Sand Slash. Earthquake will KO this thing, so let's give Sand Slash some love. Um, Earthquake. He can switch into the Latios, but I can X Scissor that thing. So let's see what he will do. Will he preserve this? He will, and he switches out into something that can take the Earthquake. So that's a good prediction on his side. Because nothing else really could KO that thing. But with the Sandstorm damage he took, uh, two X Scissors will probably take that thing out. Uh, one will probably take out the Mega or the Latios, and two will probably take out... Oh, he's Scarfed! Good to know! Scarfed... Draco Meteor... So... Me need Mega Latios... Lat Deals, choice carved, special attack, minus two, versus Megazord X, still does a lot of damage, bro that's not, that's so uncool, Scarm, how much do you take, not much, and I can click Brave Bird, I can click Toxic, Probably will be going for the Brave Bird, by the way. Um, 
Draco Meteor doesn't do that much. Um, I'm clicking Roost, going back up to full, restoring Sturdy. Because I was expecting him to switch into his Talon Lane. Oh, Sandslash is gone by the way as well. Uh, that's so annoying. Um, already 3-3 three, uh, three, three now. Hmm. Right, and this gets a kill. 3, 1, 2, 3, yeah. Um, Talon Flame. Uh, Brave Bird will still do a nice amount of damage, so I'll be going for that. Natural Gift. Was he expecting a switch or... Yeah, I do think he was expecting a switch. I'm just going for damage, dude. So, I'm clicking Brave Bird again. He can go for a fire type move like Flare Blitz and probably take me out. But I am pretty physical bulky. Yeah, okay, no. <laughs> but he will take a lot of recoil there. Yeah, that's what I mean. Um, I know Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz. He does not have a item anymore. Into Megazard X. I can live anyone hit and KO this. So... I do need to de-dance up though, and I'm not sure if I am going to make that happen, if Acrobatics is doing the damage that I think it's going to do. I think this is going to finish in a 1-0 and that's not what I want. Hmm. I think I will switch into Raikou now. If he goes for the Flare Blitz or Brave Bird, it takes he takes itself out. And Raikou can take the Latios Draco Meteor a bit better, I believe. Scarfed. Yeah, because this gets Oko'd and Raikou does not. Clicking Dragon Dance once. He goes for an Acrobatics. 158. 158. Divided by th 297. I live I'm living with 53%. So that was probably a high roll. Yeah, that thing's, thing is definitely Gilwings. I do end up with a bit more health than I started off with. Um, Talon Flame. How much health do I need to have to live one? 145. 
five. So basically I have to go back up to full to live to well let's do it I am slowly regaining my health Going now up to 205, slowly but surely getting there. Regaining 17 points of health there. To 25, so those that's uh, 20 points. This is not very entertaining to watch, but to 30 so that was a high roll on his side I am basically trying to keep my differential good for a second spot in the playoffs so that's what I'm fighting for right now uh, 238 getting close that was also a bit of a high roll Why don't you just keep on attacking me, dude? Come on. Please be so kind. Um, that's plus one attack, plus one speed. I basically need to see myself stay in the green to click Dragon Dance the next turn and I do think I can do that after this one. Let's see, 275, 275, 93%. His acrobatics has a very small chance to two hit Kaomi now. Um, going up to 291. I think that's it. Yes, guaranteed 3 hit KO with max attack adamant. So I am. <sighs> I believe I should be good. 159. Going to plus 2. Plus 2. And 
and acrobatics is a guaranteed two hit kill from this range so I can finish this game off with three dragon claws if I'm correct because yeah I don't think anything else gets priority here so Megazord gets one kill against Talonflame Even if he scarfed Latios, I should be able to outspeed it now. At plus two. Yep, and Dragon Claw should KO this. He switches out into his Mega Blastoise. Probably sucking that thing off. There we go. And now just the Ladi in my way. So, um, I had two bad weeks in a row, but I'm glad I am able to take this. Waiting for my move to proc. Yes. I'm glad to take another W, finally again. Um, and it was exactly the 2 and O oh I needed, so I am very glad I was able to preserve that. Whew. Uh, yeah, it was kind of a hard game in the end. Um, yeah, sacking the Sand Slash just to have uh, info on the Ladios might might not have been worth it, might have been worth it, not sure. Um, but yeah, uh, we got the W. Um, not sure who I'm going to play. Um, I do believe uh, with my second uh, seed I will be able to have a pretty free pick. Only uh, Tips will have first pick so I can have seconds after that. We'll see what happens. Um, thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, um, see you all in playoffs, very excited, bye!